Hey, what's good? So I picked up the Pixel 9 Pro XL about a week ago, and I want to let you know my initial thoughts about this phone and why I think this phone could be the phone of the year. I really think Google did a great job of refining this phone. Uh, the build quality is now on par with Samsung and Apple. And I'm glad that I did pick this hazel color, this colorway, because I think it does a good job of hiding fingerprints. And uh, I really like the flat uh, build around the edges. The, the, the roundness takes away a lot of what I call phone fatigue when it comes to holding this phone. These round edges make this phone just actually feel smaller than what it is. Now the front display does have that Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and it does have an LTPO OLED display that can reach up to 3000 peak nits in uh, brightness. But some people are saying uh, in direct daylight, it can look a little washed out, but it hasn't been an issue in my case usage so far. Uh, the 120 Hertz refresh rate uh, does come in handy when playing like high demanding games like Call of Duty and other high fidelity games. Uh, the Pixel is running Google's latest uh, Tensor G4 and some of the Geekbench scores have people thinking that the G4 is lacking. But from what I've read from different articles, uh, that the actual Tensor G4 is being throttled by as much as 50% and it's for temperature issues. Uh, there's been rumors that the, that this can overheat when it's running at its full peak. And I think Google in general has found that the 50% throttle has uh, brought down all the temperature issues they were probably having when they were testing this out, which is disappointing since the Pixel Pro's models are to say have uh, this vapor cooling chamber to like ensure heat dissipation wouldn't be a problem uh, another cool thing i did not think would mean that much to me ai is supposed to be important like the add me feature when taking pictures the pixel studio does a great job with that uh, the ai type to create features is really great uh, one thing I think they may hold back on is using people, which I think is a good thing and it should be held out altogether for like security, uh, keeping people from using the AI in like mischievous ways. Now the camera has a triple uh, back setup with this pill pill look to it, which I find very nice. I like the actual silver framing around it, which I took note of adding to this high quality look. Now the three sensors on the back is a 50 megapixel F17 wide angle. Then you have like this 48 megapixel, which is also rated at a F17 aperture is for periscope telephoto with a five time optical zoom. And then the 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor uh, does take pictures at, with 123 degree field of range. Now the one thing I love about Google cameras is uh, is the software and the computational photography is the best of any major flagship phones today. Uh, video does a great job, yet it doesn't have the details of an iPhone 14 Pro Max or 15 Pro Max or the saturation uh, in colors that you found that is found on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but Pixel still produces great videos now the battery life has been great i use my phone at work you know a lot listening to like my uh, sirius xm uh, satellite app uh, looking at social media um, i get through a whole work day without recharging and and to put that into perspective my work days are 10 hours on average so i use i use my phone easily nine of those hours and I can finish my day with 20% on my battery. So really there's no issues when it comes to the battery. Another improvement has been the fingerprint sensor, which is pretty fast. Uh, Google is now using an ultrasonic under the glass reader, 
to uh, read your fingerprint. And uh, that's a, that's a much be more better improvement than that light sensor that some companies use as a fingerprint sensor. The ultrasonic is way better at uh, detecting your fingerprint and rejecting others. Uh, also going forward, there will be seven major upgrades to the software, which was promised by Google making this phone something you can keep for years to come. Gemini has been something extra. I really think I would not have used it as much as I have done, but I can see using Gemini voice assistant in a lot of ways. I've been using it mostly as a tool uh, uh, to solve and bring up sports stats when debating and arguing with friends. But here is a list of things that uh, Gemini can do. Uh, you can use the Google Assistant features such as sending a message or uh, to a friend or opening an app. Uh, Gemini can provide information from Google Maps, Google Hotels, and Google Flights. Uh, look for places or location and find routes. It can also help uh, find hotel locations, price, uh, star ratings, and dates. And um, communicate and with, you know, with like this general human-like text in response to a wide range of questions. And I can only see that getting better. I mean, the features and potential of Gemini is just really getting started. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens when uh, Android 15 comes out. One thing to keep note of though, uh, you can update, upgrade to, uh, I think I forgot, it's another version of Gemini, but it has a one year trial period. And that one is supposed to be a little bit more intuitive than the standard uh, Gemini that you have right now. But as of now, I don't have any pricing of what it will cost after that one year, um, that one year trial date. So keep in mind, if you do uh, decide to use the more advanced Gemini, uh, put a, re a reminder in your phone so you don't go over that trial period. And then next thing you know, you're paying some uh, outlandish price. So right now I'm like still in that getting to know you period. And I'm looking forward to bringing you like more future content on some of the features the Pixel 9 Pro XL have. Uh, so this this is, like I said, this is up there. This is, this is a contender for phone of the year right now. So again, uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, check out some of my other content on the Pixel 9 Pro XL. And uh, other than that, don't forget to sub hit that notification bell and again thank you uh, and I'll see you in my next video I'm out